Now, Dr. Chari, you um, give us a, a release to use this videotape. Yes. And Deepak, yes. same thing. Okay, uh, you, you mentioned that you've had great results with incontinent patients. Can you describe some examples for us? Sure. Um, actually, there's a couple of women. Both are in their 70s, and they were having urinary incontinence. Um, one had a cystocele where the bladder was dropping down. And prolapsed you know, uterus? A pro, yeah, a prolapsed bladder. Oh, my God. And um, they were not having results doing Kegel exercises. They've um, you know, tried different yoga postures, which to try to, but nothing was working. And that was one area that in our practice we've actually been a little frustrated treating incontinence because we weren't seeing the results with the traditional modalities and recommendations that are out there. So when we heard about the NeuroCare and the results with the incontinence, uh, we were so excited. So immediately we had both of these women using the device uh, at least once a day, 45 minutes at a time, uh, with the protocol. And within the first session, with one, one of the women in particular, symptoms resolved. She was able to, um, she didn't have any bladder uh, leakage. Every day, normally, there would be an accident, one accident when or another. When she would sneeze or laugh. Or when she would sneeze or laugh. Or, or even when she would feel a slight pressure, she would never, she wouldn't be able to make it to the bathroom so, in time. So did she have to wear Depends? Or, yes, so yeah. she was starting to wear Depends. It was affecting her quality of life, her confidence. And she was kind of holding back on going out as much because of those fears. And um, so, but after the first session itself, she had relief of the symptoms. She did not have any incontinence, no leakage, either with uh, sneezing, laughing, coughing. And even she was able to hold her bladder uh, for hours at a time, even after the first session. And that was to me almost literally miraculous. And that we've seen that same, um, it's been holding since then, and she uses it maybe twice a week now at the most, but even when she did it consistently for maybe the first three weeks, um, after the third week, uh, she noticed that she was able to travel long distances, no issues whatsoever, and had never any, since then, she has not had any problems with um, incontinence. And wow, that's just completely incredible. resolved. Now this completely was uh, stress incontinence, stress basically. Incontinence. And uh, this is uh, a patient that's had uh, long-term, now that she's stopped the protocol, does it, the, did it maintain? I mean, does Yes, it, it's been holding. So it's, it's been and holding. because it's been but, holding, uh, then she hasn't. She's now right. able to maybe uh, reach those muscles with Kegels yes. that can maintain them. Uh, but she hasn't they, even done the Kegels. Oh, wow. No, at all. When they've <laughs> totally atrophied, uh, had she uh, had children? Do you think that's where the incontinence came from? Uh, baby resting in the womb on the pelvic floor muscles the wrong way? Uh, it, yes, it could have been. She noticed this started maybe about 10 years ago, so maybe from the age of 60, though, she started Wow, having so it issues. got worse as she aged. Yes. The muscles waste away. It's sarcopenia. It's a normal part of aging where we lose, lose lean muscle mass. And in this case, those deep pelvic floor muscles, which Kegels can't get to, Nothing the can. Kegels exercise the vaginal wall muscles and the anus, they do nothing, especially when the muscles have totally wasted away. They're not there to exercise, okay? So they can't hold in the, uh, the bladder, and sometimes uh, the same muscles are uh, holding the, the uterus in, uh, where we get the prolapsed uterus issues. Uh, where did you hook up the electrodes on this patient? You know, the inner thighs? Yes, absolutely. The inner thighs and the anterior tibial. Yeah, oh, okay, so the outer lower leg, anterior yes. tibialis, and the inner thighs. And the inner thighs. So two leads, four electrodes. Yes. And did you have her lean forward and, and uh, uh, resist or do a Valsalva type of a Kegel resistance exercise, or what did you do? Um, I mentioned it to her, but she forgot to do it, and it still worked. It still worked. <laughs> so we were able to give her the full resistance exercise with uh, in a passive manner Completely but yet passive. it was full resistance exercise a deep contraction of those muscles and the electrodes on the legs the lower legs is interesting they would have to go through the groin to communicate and send electricity back and forth to each other we did this in a room with a hundred people we held hands and sent electricity through every person in the room and that's the advantage of the AC we can overcome the resistance of distance and do hundreds of people holding hands in the room so you have the same resistance issues when you have muscles that have atrophied in the body and are no longer doing the job right. Uh, did you have the same kind of results with uh, the other uh, patient with the prolapse? Oh, absolutely. She, 
um, actually, it was from her that we heard about this, about NeuroCare because she had um, gone to another doctor who lived in Los Angeles, and he had the device, and she had incontinence, and she had the treatment with the NeuroCare, and she rented the device, and she said, my God, you have to learn about this technology, and she had us connect, actually, she connected us with you. Yes. So. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for sharing your success stories with us. It, this is a uh, arena that uh, it's estimated that one out of every three women uh, has uh, leaky pipes uh, issues with incontinence, and uh, certainly men have issues uh, with the uh, those muscles atrophying and not doing their job down there. They can affect other functioning of those muscles in that region as well. But that's for another discussion. The idea here is there's a non-drug, non-surgical solution to help people get function back for those muscles that are no longer doing their job holding the bladder in. So they can get their independence back and their mobility back and their freedom to go out and dance and go have fun again and not be afraid of laughing. I, well, we had one lady at a casino where she was a dealer and she was all dour faced because she said, every time I laugh, I, I have an accident, I have a leak. So everybody thinks I'm real serious and no fun, but in fact, I, I gotta be very careful and govern how I function at work. I'll lose my job, I can't afford to lose my job, she said. So you can imagine how it affects people's ability to go to church and, and uh, go shopping and everything else. Oh, uh, some people you know, are urinating 60 and 70 times a day and the Depends just can't hold in all, they don't, you know, it leaks even with the Depends on. So, all right, thank you very much. We appreciate your enthusiasm about uh, NeuroCare's True Tesla technology. Thank you, Glenn.